Good morning and welcome to Wayside Kids. Can you believe it? It's November 1st. It's a brand new month. And I hope you remember daylight savings time. You set those clocks back and maybe you got an extra hour of sleep. So here we are feeling well rested together. Today, we are going to move into a book called Psalms. Now, if you're not familiar with the book of Psalms, this is a book of prayer a book of song, a book of praise. It is full of emotion and imagery even to help sort of depict those emotions that we're feeling. And it involves happiness and even sadness, but it always wraps itself back around to praise God. That's what this book is. And in case you didn't know, it is the longest book in the Bible. It has the most chapters. Um, so if you ever have a chance to sit down and look at it in a heftier Bible, you know, like, like our other Bible here, you'll see there are so, so many chapters in it. Now, the book of Psalms, we are going to focus on one particular, and it's Psalm 23, and that is the Lord is my shepherd. So today I'm going to read that Psalm to you right now. We're going to talk about it a little bit, and then I have a very simple, a very fun yet relaxing activity that I hope you can participate in. All right, here we go. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close behind me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Hmm. Now this particular psalm say that we turn to this one when we might be feeling afraid or scared of something. And throughout the Bible, we hear a lot of talk of sheep and shepherds. And I'm sure if I asked you why, why that is, why sheeps and shepherds. Well, let's think. What do shepherds do? They tend to their flock. And what exactly is the role of that shepherd with its flock of sheep? It is to protect them. So here we see in Psalm 23, the talk of the Lord being our shepherd. And we, we the people are his sheep. And we are here asking him to protect us. And that we are grateful and honoring him for doing just that, for being our protector, for listening to us and praying and praising him for being the one and only. Awesome, right? All right, so that was sweet and simple. The activity that I want you to do for me today is actually a printout that I put together. It's very simple. And this could easily be done again with the help of a parent, older sibling, especially for those who might not be able to read and that's okay. You can do it together, which is actually even better, I think. So on it, it says it's Psalm 23, and I wrote out the actual psalm in small segments down the whole page, as you can see. I want you to take time and reread this together and start to sort of pull out certain words that make you think of images or feelings. And I want you to take the time to sit and maybe draw out images, pictures, or you could even use words to describe what it is you're feeling. So for instance, the first sign says, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Shepherd kind of stands out. So you might automatically say, I'm going to draw a shepherd and you could do that. And then I have all that I need. Maybe you would write down a few of those things that you have that mean a lot to you. It might be your Nintendo Switch, or it could be a house, a warm bed, food to eat. You could write it, you could draw it. So I'm asking that you take the time to just review Psalm 23 together 
and write down what it is that you think or feel when you are reading it together. I have this on our website. It's under the parent resources tab. Our website is waysidepc.org. Feel free to download it. I will also add it below here on our YouTube channel for easy access. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. Very sweet and simple on this November 1st as we gear up for a whole new month and whole new material. I will catch you all later on next Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye.